After four long years, we are finally back in Japan. It was the height of the brutal Japanese summer, and this time, we planned on hiking the legendary Kumano Koto with the whole crew. But before that, we set aside some time to check out the sights around Tokyo. Our first destination was the 2,080 feet tall Tokyo Skytree. Next, we'd head to Kurazukuri Street in the city of Kawagoe, known for its warehouses dating back to the 1800s. And finally, we'd head to our friend Michael's place for dinner with his family. Okay, welcome to Japan. We have officially been here for about a week now. I think the jet lag is all gone. Let me introduce you to our little hostel. This is the Ginkan. This is where you put all of your shoes before you actually step into the room. The floors look like tatami mats, but there's no way that they're actually tatami. I think this is just vinyl. The amount of abuse that these... <laughs> May I come out and change? Yes. The amount of abuse that these floors see, there's no way they would be real to Tommy. This is the bathroom. Thomas just finished showering. We got a private room which has six beds and your own bathroom. Got a toilet here replete with bidet and heated seat, a tiny sink, and a nice little stand-up shower. And soap and shampoo provided. And here are the six bunk beds. One, two, Three, four, five, six. And over here is the sink for actual tooth brushing and face washing. It's much bigger. Nice little mirror. And here's Thomas. <laughs> the plan for today is to go to the Tokyo Sky Tree. Andrew, Brian, and Marisa are all already over there. We're gonna try to get some food on the way. Hopefully it is not too hot today because it has been blisteringly hot. Let's go. Sky Tower. Getting. If we get an eye on water, the car is dry. Did you want one? Nope, I'm good. It's not that cold. <laughs> That's disappointing. That's where we're going. Okay, and that is the sumo wrestling hall, right? That is, yeah. Okay, so the Tokyo Sky Tree is two stops east and two stops north. Top of his card a little bit. He's got a welcome Suica card. I am lucky because fortunately you can put a Suica card on an iPhone and just use any American credit card. At home. You can use any MasterCard to add money to it. So I just tap my phone. He has to tap the transit card. Okay, it turns out I was wrong. It was actually only one stop east, one stop north. We were very close to the Sky Tree. And let's see where the others are at. They, well, they're north of the Sky Tree now, so they might not be there anymore, but. So it turns out the others were at the Capybara Cafe. They're just finishing up, but me and Thomas are getting kind of hungry, so we're gonna search for something to eat. Probably kind of pricey in the sky tree, I'm guessing. So we will see where the wind takes us.
Okay, we're gonna have the Moss Burger experience. What's the story about moths? Moths and moss? Um, I'll just play a clip of it right okay. now. Have you eaten Moss Burger? I know what you mean. Moss Burger, I mean. Last time I was at Moss Burger, I got the melon soda. It's sweet, but pretty good. Actual plastic straws. It's got the bend to it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's certainly something. Would you like to try some of my... It's too... Iced coffee? Cookie. Oh, definitely. Oh man, that is surprisingly good. It's very strong. I mean, look at the presentation of that. Wow. What's on that? Is that mayonnaise? I don't know, I think it's a cheese-ish thing. It's really hot. I feel how hot that is. Yours is probably just as hot. You know, my dad always said that it's not the restaurant that matters, it's the people who work there. And you can tell the people who work here, they actually care about the quality of the service they provide. Is this boneless? I think so. I'm gonna bite right in and find out. Oh, it's not boneless. <laughs> I hadn't gotten to your side yet. <laughs> wow, that is fantastic and fresh and juicy. Okay, and I also got the katsu burger. Wow, for fast food, this is like excellent. Good choice. <laughs> We successfully made contact with the others. They're inside right oh, now. They are. Hey, you want to go get your picture taken with yes, Totoro? <laughs> Okay, next up, Sky Tree. We gotta go buy tickets first. I've been here once before, but coming here again, it's just so massive. It's very disorienting. You know what was also disorienting like this? Was that building in Shanghai. I was just thinking this is exactly like that. Yeah. It'll probably be really similar going up that elevator too. You said it takes 50 seconds? Yeah. Holy that's one of the fastest elevators in the world. Or of uh, some variety. <laughs> bouncy house? Andrew looks like he's dressed for a bouncy house. <laughs> <laughs> archives. That's what's happening right now. <laughs> we are adding to the archives. Ooh, 8K. Oh yeah, that is good detail. Wow. Alright, we got tickets for 2 o'clock. We're going to go all the way to the top. We're not going to cheap out. It is 148. Yes. They all have different pictures. Okay, so it's 450 meters to the very top, 350 to the first stop. Next up is the Tokyo Skytree Temple Deck. Floor 
Keep my ears from that. Where does anything stand out so far? Well, Fuji, obviously. Yeah. You see that um, gold, gold thing? thing? Yeah. Do you know what that is? Uh oh. -uh. That is the Asahi Beer Headquarters. I think that's supposed to be the foam on top of a beer. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that is the Sumo Building, and our hostel is somewhere over there. You know what this really kind of reminds me? It's like you take Los Angeles and then you make all the buildings 10 times higher. Because it's got the sprawl, of, yeah, but, but the it height doesn't have the height. Tokyo's got the height. And it just goes, dude. I am continually amazed at the density of everything here. Isn't this, like when you see it from here, it's just unbelievable. Isn't this the most populous city in the whole world? Tokyo, population 14 million. So somewhere in that direction was where me and Daryl crossed the ferry and climbed Mount Nokogiri. That's Chiba, like the little... Oh, like way across. Yeah, that's way across, right. yeah. And then apparently that like little shiny thing, that's the Tower of Wind. Apparently it's a ventilation shaft for an underground tunnel. It got up the ventilation shaft. <laughs> I got some apple cheese cream thing. It's good. So I came here in 2012, and I'm seeing signs for the 11th anniversary of the Tokyo Sky Train. If it's 2023, that means that I came here when it first opened, which would also explain why I don't recognize any of the shops down on the first floor. It must not have been open yet. Well, we are very lucky that we got to see Fuji today. December is the best time of year to actually see it clear, but today, like, we got a really nice view of it. It's a little hazy, but... Okay, apparently there is a glass floor two floors down, so we're gonna go there first and then head up to the very top. It's like maybe the size of this, and it's, there's very large metal bars between the windows. <laughs> between its legs. <laughs> wow. Look at that shadow. Oh, you can actually send a postcard? Yeah. Forgot you had to lick stamps. I was trying to figure out how do I make this stick, and I was like, oh, I gotta. <laughs> this is like Ocarina of Time or something. Thomas is the postman. <laughs> yeah. That's why he won't hike so fast. He's just trying to deliver mail. <laughs> Fun fact. My name in Japanese is Ruby, but it's also Lobby.
The music really adds to it. Yeah, I love the music. <laughs> so I assume we were down there just a second ago. Kumotori's so, like right over there. there. Brian, do you realize that it's been six years since we went to Kumotori? <laughs> do not need for that much time to elapse. <laughs> There's so, a lot of pools on top of buildings. It's gonna be like a one, school, right? another one over there. Oh yeah, yeah probably school, a school, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this reminds me of SimCity uh, for the for Super NES. <laughs> like getting that eagle eye view of the buildings and you can really see like like the roads dividing them. There's that building down there that's like the maximum level residential. <laughs> you know what's interesting is I only see a handful of highways. That's the only one. It's only got two lanes on it. That's a good point, yeah. You know, whenever I look at Los Angeles and everything like that, there's so many freeways everywhere. Nope. If close. this place did not have public transportation, people had to rely on cars, this would be the worst city in the world. <laughs> <laughs> if you were in Columbus, you know, like you'd see the edge of the city easily from up here. But this is just like buildings as far as the eye can see, which is crazy. Okay, so up next we're going to Kawagoe. We are at the Sky Tree right now. So, first up, we're gonna go to Hikifune, transfer to the Express, and from there, we transfer to the Musashino line. It's gonna be about an hour and 20 minutes to get there. You guys eat your bread already? So I got this little sweet French toast. Andrew, yes, see you hovering. Come and try <laughs> this with me. Hang on. Oh my gosh, look at that. Croque monsieur. Oh, what a good. French sandwich thing. Mm. Mm. Excellent. <laughs> Goes well with my coffee. Mm. Mm -hmm. This ham sandwich isn't that good. <laughs> this is French yeah, toast, however. Oh, wow. Okay, next we're gonna switch over to the Musashino line. And that's gonna be another, I don't know, 30 minutes to the Tobu Tojo line. Okay. And then we take that to Kawagoe. traveling for a good, I don't know, we've been traveling for like an hour now, and even when we get to Kawagoe, we're not even close to Michael's house. He lives very far from Tokyo. Uh, but this is the last line. We're taking the Tobu Tojo line to Kawagoe. Okay. 
Okay, after a fairly lengthy and sweaty journey, we have made it to Kawagoe. This area is one of the only areas in Japan that has the original buildings from the Edo period, which is like the 1600s, I think. <laughs> Five o'clock bell? I guess so. Interesting. It's about a four minute walk to basically the start of the first temples along the old Edo Road. So we're just gonna walk there and then uh, start enjoying the location. You know what tree this is? The Sounds tulip poplar. <laughs> <laughs> is it really? Yeah. Man, I have not learned anything from all of your lectures. <laughs> Does sassafras have leaves that look like that? Sort of, yeah. It's got like dinosaur print looking leaves, so the lobes are kind of similar. Must be for love. This is for luck or something. Yeah, it's for like. It says for couples. So the Triforce from Zelda was originally like a clan symbol, like a family clan, right? Looks like the Hojo clan. Uh, it makes sense, I mean, that they would have drawn a symbol from actual culture. And you can see some smaller ones on this trimming there. Wow, it's cooled down quite a bit. Isn't this like a really nice atmosphere right now? Nice breeze coming in. <laughs> it's almost a shame that we have to get to the towns at a like early or like when it's not late because otherwise I would say the best strategy would be to get up early hike until it's like the hottest and just basically take a break during the hot time mm. and then hike when it starts cooling down again Okay, we're starting to get into the area with all of the old buildings. In fact, this one right here, you can probably tell, looks like it was from the 1600s. I'm not sure which of these buildings are actually still original, but my guess would be all of these right here. There's so much character in them. 
Now, as far as I know, this is still the original. And with any luck, it'll go off in six minutes. Okay, so it looks like this was originally built in 1627, or around that time, and burnt down multiple times. And then in the Kawagoa Great Fire in 1893, it was finally rebuilt the next year for the final time, I guess. And the beautiful tone of the bell is recognized as one of the 100 sound sceneries of Japan. Okay, if we're lucky and the internet is actually correct, it's gonna go off in one minute. You can see the theme they ram it with. Yeah, is it just automatic? That's a good question. It's like you used to have someone who would manually go up there, but it's since been automated. Oh, it was automated? Oh, I thought someone was doing that. No, you could see it just like repositioning and then letting go. Cool. Um, Maurice is getting something from Starbucks. Okay. Do we need to go to Michael's now? Yep. Catch a bus? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I'm 90% sure we're at the right bus stop. Uh, we're just going to wait for the rest of the buses to come, and hopefully this is it. There's a large discrepancy in the Oh, in this area? Okay. We successfully got on the bus. Michael's wife happened to be on the same bus, so we know we're going the right way. What we call this a successful party. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Yeah. Well, even by American standards. Yeah. Oh, f uh, frogs? I don't see any frogs. And then over here, that's where his crops are. Uh, is this your house? This is like uh, the background of a luminous level right here. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> I feel like we're in a movie where we're at the point where we're like looking up at the stars and we're reflecting <laughs> on how far we've come. This is that scene in Kikujiro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is so Kikujiro-esque. <laughs> <Touchy. laughs> oh, you got me. You remember that movie. Oh. 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 That was pretty good. 
<laughs> He's very excited. <laughs> Are you jet lagged? Are you okay? This is I'm, your first time. This is my first time. Oh, sorry. Oh, whoa. <laughs> is that a stag view? You just found it? Oh. We caught it at a... Mm. At a whoa. Let's get him in the light. No? So it's in the forest? No. Yeah. No? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, ah. It's in the forest. Well, you're not afraid of touching it? Yes. You are afraid. <laughs> no. Uh, he's, he's dead now. That's cool. It was too hot. Oh. 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 I always remembered it when I was learning Japanese as eat the duck some more. So a mixture of English yeah. and Spanish. The must at the end. Oh, like eat that. the duck some more. That's how I remembered it. Hungry? You hungry? You don't have a plate. Hungry? No, that's fine. No, I mean, you can use it. Is it from IKEA? I didn't want to learn. I don't want to do it. Can you try it, Leo? <laughs> so it's like it, it needs a little spin, but not much. Okay, so this is actually a new house, but Michael is up to his same old tricks. Okay, show them the good stuff. Show <laughs> the good stuff. So this has been just recently changed. I feel like your room and Robbie's room are connected. <laughs> yeah, it feels very similar. I, I think this is probably 60 to 70% of the collection. The other 20 to 30% is actually in the room downstairs in the workshop. And these shelves actually were the IKEA TV stand that we were using that I decided I didn't want to use anymore. So oh, I took it all apart it and just oh, cut them to size and use them again on the same like yeah. system. Yeah, it's on a three gear gear okay, tire. That's like, okay. Yeah, it's it's all wood. But yeah. That reminds me of when we got Ikaruga. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we flipped the TV to play that on the GameCube. Okay, put it in tape mode. <laughs> <laughs> The English word, tape mode. Really cool. The gear train was difficult because I don't have a band saw, so I had to cut every single gear like with just a jigsaw by what? hand. Wow. And it's wood? really hard. Yeah, it's wood. So there's three of them too. They're all different sizes, like different ratios. So it's super hard because like if one single gear is like not yeah. the right shape, the whole thing won't turn. Yeah, so Thank nice. you for being patient. One more time? No, no. <laughs> I don't. You're actually doing a very good job. You're making quite an effort. O Ojama Shimashita. Ojama Shimashita. Oh, that was great. Nice meeting you. You say nice meeting you too. I guess we're getting on. Back, bud. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thanks for having us. The second I was like, why is Robbie driving? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so weird being in the driver's seat, but actually being in the passenger seat. Yeah, by the time I started driving, I had kind of not been driving in America for so long that it wasn't really something I had to adjust to. Just had to just remember, stay on the left, stay on the left. <laughs> So it was nice right. to meet you. Nice come, you. Come back again. Yeah. Always welcome so. at my place. Good, Good to see you again. again. We'll see you, well, we'll all see you in January too, yeah? Hope so. Hope yes. so. Okay. Hope so. That is my video plan. chat is not enough. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. Just say, you can dress me up in a suit and then like put a little <laughs> iPad over my face. <laughs> you can be Michael for half of the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that was a very nice dinner. It is now 10.30. We're probably not gonna get back until midnight. 
<laughs> Tell me about what, what's the stance that's going on. Uh, so when we do our Filipino stick fighting, we usually hold our sticks like this when we're not using them. I'm like, this is a nice way to hold this umbrella. <laughs> it is. This looked like a Pokari Sweat commercial. <laughs> Just now. something called a slow bar and it's like in the US you would never advertise any sort of bar as a slow <laughs> bar <laughs> We've actually commented on that on a video before, but there are no trash cans in Japan. Well, there are very few trash cans. And that is the first time I've ever seen a trash can overflowing with trash. But in Japan. <laughs> in New York, that's like every street corner. <laughs> for that AC to kick in. <laughs> oh, you're uh, waiting under there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right where the four. <laughs> like I'm not moving until I feel like I'm just blowing on it. Where are the fresh towels at? Was there one more? Oh, okay, perfect. All right, well, that's it for us. We'll be back at it again tomorrow. See you in that one. To put all your trinkets. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> what a scoop! <laughs>how do magnets work? <laughs> okay, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing and checking out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash adventure. If you'd like to watch all of our videos from our 2023 trip to Japan, just click the playlist on the left. If you'd like to watch the next video in the series, click the video on the right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.